Welcome to Metro Vancouver Close-Up, highlighting local leadership in sustainability. 30 rivers and creeks flow through the Lower Coquitlam River watershed, which is also a highly urbanized area. On Earth Day, citizens made a mindful connection between water and city at a celebration about this watershed, and it was a zen reflection of Metro Vancouver's approach to ecological health. Good evening everyone and welcome to our gentle half a class this evening on Earth Day in the Coquitlam watershed. What do yoga and planning the management of a watershed have to do with each other, you might ask? Well, as it turns out, quite a lot. Yay. Three years, three years, guys. The Coquitlam Watershed Roundtable celebrated the end of its three-year planning process, which for the first time in Canada, considered the health and well-being of people as well as that of the environment. We're joining forces with Watershed Watch Salmon Society and um, the My Watershed Moment initiative to, to do the yoga because the messaging parallels between the two healthy humans and healthy watersheds. We would love for people to get more engaged in what happens in their community. So we are really opening the doors today to try and get people to come out, participate in the yoga, and perhaps be inspired through that to take an active role in leading the Coquitlam watershed towards a healthier future. People attending the open house heard a presentation on the link between healthy watersheds and healthy people. A growing body of evidence concludes that getting out into nature is good for you, both mentally and physically. The yoga community and and the people who care about the watershed health are coming together because the yoga community is trying to improve their immune system and their well-being. Uh, so they're, they're supporting uh, the people who are trying to do it in terms of, of the health of the watershed as well. There's a natural fit here. The roundtable's focus now shifts from planning to implementation. This is where the rubber hits the road. Through this process, we identified actions that we can measure, indicators that we can use to show that we can connect if we implement these and some behavioural changes, that it will lead to a healthy watershed and improve our ecological and human well-being. Three actions are going ahead in 2015. A plan to manage invasive species across all three municipalities in the watershed. A stormwater education program aimed at homeowners. And a new initiative to find incentives to offer developers in return for using greener building methods. New partners are now being sought to help fund and implement several other strategies that emerged from the three-year planning process. 